In this video I'm going to share with you my favorite free apps for Mac OS that are going to help you to make the most out of your Mac without spending a dime. Hello and welcome to Levin's Review, I'm David and thank you so much for joining us. Before we start, our channel is so close to the first 500 subscribers and if you support us and help us to get the 500 subscribers, it will be so cool. So please click the like and subscribe button and let's start. App number one, Rectangle. Unfortunately, Apple is really behind when it's come to work with multiple windows. If you watch our review of Windows 11, you have probably seen how easy it is to work with multiple apps in the same time. But don't worry about that, you can find few apps that can solve this issue on macOS. And the most popular is Magnet. But Magnet costs money and today we want to talk about free apps. So my alternative app is Rectangle. After installing the app, we will find the apps icon in the upper menu. With you click it, you will receive all the options to organize the windows. If you click the preferences, you will see all the shortcuts you can use. But you don't have to use shortcuts. All you have to do is select a window and then select a location. And then move to the next window and select an location. And so on. And now you can easily navigate between the windows. App number 2. Free Office. The next app for today is a great free alternative for Microsoft Office. Of course, you can install Microsoft Office on macOS, but it costs money. In the past, I tried to work with OpenOffice and LibraryOffice, and they are fine, but they are so different from what I got to use to in Microsoft Office. But lately, I discovered Free Office. The Free Office has Text Maker, which is very similar to Microsoft Word. They have Plane Maker, which is very similar to Microsoft Excel. Also, they have Presentation Free, which looks so similar to Microsoft PowerPoint. So I strongly recommend you to try out Free Office. App number 3. App Cleaner. The next app is App Cleaner, which is a tool to uninstall apps. And if you ask yourself why I need app to uninstall app when I can easily drag the app to the trash. Fourthly, I'm stable into app that cannot delete this way. Also, when you uninstall app this way, it skips a lot of leftovers that occupy space on your storage. But when we use App Cleaner, we can drag the required app into the App Cleaner. And you will see that it's offered to delete the app and automatically find all the files related to the app. And you can delete them as well. App number four. Memory Diag Memory Diag is a great free app that makes your Mac work smooth and fast. After the installation of the app, you will find the icon in the upper menu. When click the icon, the app will open up. In the lower area, you will see which app consumes the most of the memory. When you press the recycle button, the app will start to free up memory. This process lasts a few seconds. For example, I freed up 3.5 GB of RAM and it took me less than 10 seconds. App number 5. Cheat Sheet Cheat Sheet is a great app that will help you to remember shortcuts for any kind of app. For example, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. When I press and hold the command button, it opens up a menu with all the popular shortcuts for Adobe Premiere Pro. And another example, it's the Mail app. App number 6. Space Launcher Space Launcher is a cool app for quick application opening. After installing the app, you will find the spaceship icon in the upper menu. Click it and choose Preferences. Then press the plus button, choose the left option, and then choose the key for the shortcut. For example, I choose S. In the right option, we will choose Open URL. Now click Choose Application and select the application you want. For this demonstration, I choose Spotify. And now click Save. From now on, every time I press the space button and S, the Spotify app will open up. I really hope this video helped you to get more from your Mac without spending money. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it and you find it helpful, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comments down below. I wish you a beautiful day and of course, I will see you in the next video.